We knew they were good. Uh, they're not number one in the state for no reason, so we were expecting them to come out. I was hoping we could carry something into the second half, but like I said, they were good, so we tried to keep it up, just kind of fell short halfway through. What was the difference between the first half and the second half? Um, I think just as soon as they scored, we just deflated completely. Um, we're not used to being scored on, especially in playoffs. I think that's the first time we've been scored on, so it kind of took the wind out of us a little bit. Um, like I said, they just rolled with it, so like I said, they're not number one in the state for no reason. So Because y'all hadn't given up a goal yet in the postseason, were you worried if y'all gave up a goal tonight how the reaction would be? Typically in the past, once we give up a goal, it kind of deflates a little bit, so I was a little worried about that. I was hoping it wasn't going to happen, tried to prepare them for it. Uh, like I said, it just kind of, once it happened, they went from there. Was a nice goal to take the one nothing lead. Yeah, it was pretty comfortable halftime. Um, like I said, I just told them, keep it up, keep playing like you're playing, we're doing well. Hoping it could carry into the second half, but... For the boys to reach the final four and the season that they had, just your thoughts on the season, what they accomplished? Um, this has been an amazing season. I say it's the first time I think any soccer program here has gone to the final four. I think it's the farthest we've been. Uh, we went from not even making the playoffs last year to winning our region this year, going all the way to the final four. So I, <laughs> that speaks for itself. Not much I could say. The difference between last year and this year? Um, confidence. Um, yeah, I lost eight seniors last year. I think last year our schedule was really tough, so going into this year I tried to kind of play that down. I inherited the schedule last year, so I didn't really get to a say in much of that. Um, but schedule-wise, it was a lot com more comfortable, and our confidence level was just through the roof. We kind of had some hiccups at the beginning of the season, but halfway through we kind of found our stride and picked it up from there. So. At what point during the season did you look at the team and, look, and thought, hey, we have a chance to, to go to the Final Four and have a strong season? Uh, honestly, I didn't really think about it. Uh, at the beginning of the season, I think one of our first practices, I said, hey, guys, you know, we have a chance at winning region. Um, and that was the pinnacle that I was reaching for. And after that, it was just going to be icing on the cake. I didn't really think about making the Final Four, our first playoff game. I was a complete bundle of nerves. Um, you know, we rolled through that 10 nothing. Second one. Kind of same thing. We outplayed the team. It was 3-0. That's when I kind of started thinking, like, holy crap, we can fake the Final Four. Um, next game, I say our last round, we had a really good Pepperell team. We beat them 4-0, and that it never really set in. I never really went into this thinking like we're gonna go, you know, to the Final Four. So, like I said, Region Championship was the pinnacle for me. After that, everything was icy. Uh, the standard that the boys set this year, looking ahead to next year. Um, I've got three seniors graduating, so I'll pretty much have the same team. I think these guys are hungry for it, um, so I'm hoping we can come back next year. Do you have any plans for some, the summer? Uh, <laughs> relaxing, <laughs> as far as I go. I know some of these guys are going to try and play um, through summer. Other than that, not much. Just give them a break. It's been a long season. Um, but we'll pick it back up, you know, starting November we'll do some conditioning and running and stuff and we'll go from there.